love the Big Ben. A church you can call home. If you don't have a home church, come join us. Either by a video or audio or just come and walk on in. Amen. We'd love to have you. Amen. And I want to close. Welcome to our NBC uh, family and uh, visitors and all of you joining us by audio or video. And then God has something for you, you know. So don't let him go, you know. Hold on to him. You know, that lady, lady with the issue of blood, he says, I want to hold on to him, you know. I'm going to do something. That's what you need to do on a daily basis yes. for him. Is grab a hold of him and don't let go. So you got something for me. And I'm going to get what I, you know, what you've got for me. And he's got something for you, amen. He wants to bless you, Amen. So, Amen. praise God. Let's uh, let's uh. Well, we're going to be talking about uh, let God arise this new year. Not only this new year, but this new day. As a matter of fact, I have a little nugget for you, and I read it for you. It says, "It's a new day. Today is a new blessing from God. Don't let yesterday's failures, yesterday's past uh, pains, ruin the beauty of this new day or this new year." Give thanks and be grateful. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yes. Every day has its own promises of love, hope, peace, joy, and success, and, and strength that make uh, and many more blessings from God. And that's what He wants to do. He wants to bless you. It's a new day. It's a new year. So rejoice and be glad and give Amen. thanks. Amen. Yes. I mean, we we should do this. I mean, go to Psalms one eighteen twenty four, and you'll see that He says, "This is the day the Lord has given us." Amen. So rejoice in it. It's the attitude that we have. We got to have a winning attitude every day. We got to have a positive attitude every day. If you're not in the Word, you're not going to have a positive attitude because you're going to let the day uh, and the world dictate what kind of day you're going to have. You decide, I'll spend time with Him and I'm going to have a victorious day. Mm -hmm. Amen. And man, they're giants waiting for you, but I'm going to walk through them. Because yes. greater is he that sent me than he that's in the world. Yes. And I've got a winning attitude. And you're going to press on regardless of what's out there waiting on you. Yeah. Amen. Man, I'm, already, I'm, I'm giant hungry. I'm going to walk, <laughs> eat me some giants. Amen. <laughs> Since Jesus is coming back any day. It may not be the perfect day for you. But it will be the perfect day for him. Yeah. And he says yeah. rejoice and be glad in this day. Amen. 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 So. Let's remember that. Let's don't make excuses about. Well it's raining. Well it's not good. Whatever. He's made it, uh, he's given you another day. And you know what? You open your eyes, he calls you, and now it's time to get busy and press on for him. Amen. Amen. Woo! So grab your sword, soldier of God. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Who are you? I'm a child of God. I am what the Word says I am. Yes. The Word, the, the world's been teaching you and showing you other things mm -hmm. that you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. But the Word says that you are. You are. And the Word says, you know, have victory in Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Each and every day, not just once in a while, but every day I can have victory. Yes. There's people out there just killing themselves, you know, because mm -hmm. they don't know. And things, pressures, and all kinds of things coming against them, you know. Mm -hmm. And they don't know to go to the peacemaker, the God yes. of Jesus, amen? That's but you know what? That's where you come in because mm -hmm. you go out into the world and bring light to a dark world, yes. amen? And he wants to use you. So you know that don't exclude yourself, include yourself, yes. be involved. And here's the thing is, be available, amen? amen? He's knocking, he's ringing you, and he's sending you all these friend requests and, and you just keep believing them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's time you accept it, you know, and start doing for him amen say wow you know you don't know what he brought me through you don't know where i've come from mm. he knows but you know what he he knows all the bad things about you he knows all the sad things about you he knows everything and still loves you the most that's it amen and he wants to say you know prodigal amen. son prodigal daughter it's yes. time for you to come home yes. amen those of you watching those of you listening it's time for you to come home mm -hmm. are you going to take another year and just say well you know whatever no it's not over it's still only the beginning that's it so let's get amen. let's get hungry for god let's get amen. hungry for the things of god stay hungry and thirsty for him amen yes. so praise god amen. i don't know about you but uh i'm excited let's uh we're going to review some things and then we're going to get going again listen to this he says 
We're going to th uh, let God rise this new year. Amen. Let, let him rise. And know this, church, God is not finished with you. He has great plans for you. Yes, None of them include defeat. Yes. And the thing about it is for you to be available. Are you available? You know when he's knocking. You know when he's touching you and, and saying, you know, it's time to press on. Mm -hmm. So it's time to give in to him. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Let, let, let you know that God arise mm -hmm. and let his enemies be scattered. We're going to read that scripture in a few minutes here. But it says, let God arise this new year. Let God arise and your cares, your problems, your, 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 your troubles mm -hmm. be scattered. Amen. You know, when you know, when you've got, got Christ in your life mm -hmm. and you've got the word of God in you, you can start confessing the word. You know what the word, of, the word is? The word is authority. You're taking authority. God not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power, authority. Yes. Power, love, and of a sound mind. And when you get the word in you, then you can start letting it out. It's not going to do you any good to hold it in. It's going to do you good when you start speaking it. God says he spoke this world into existence. That's how powerful words are. Amen. When we start believing how powerful words are, uh, uh, Proverbs 18, 20, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. Well, the tongue speaks words. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. So be selective of the things you speak. Mm -hmm. I don't want negative things in my life. I want positive things. So start speaking positive mm -hmm. and not negative. Yes. Amen. Just because somebody said it, don't mean I got to repeat it. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I don't have to copy anything. I just want to be the original God made me to be. Uh -huh. I don't have to live up to whatever they live up to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be Christ-like. Amen. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. That's a whole lot. <laughs> Here we go. If you have your Bibles, you can open it to Psalms, 20, uh, Psalms uh, 68. And we're going to read verses 1 and 3. Well, I have it up here for you. King James says, Let God arise and what? Let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Amen. Whatever enemies you have. You know, <laughs> God has no enemies for you. Amen. It's the, the devil. The Bible says in John 10, 10, the enemy comes to steal kill and destroy. and destroy jesus yeah. says i've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly amen. so you know i want to be on the winning side amen mm -hmm. i don't want to be on the losing side he says let let like you see all the lets on there mm -hmm. <laughs> it says let god arise let yeah. his enemies be scattered yeah. let them also that hate him flee before him mm -hmm. as smoke is driven away so drive them away yeah you have to drive them away you yeah. know how you drive them away with yeah, the word, the with word. the word, the words have authority. And you know, he needs to bow down. He bows down. He's a defeated foe, and he bows down to the word of God. And what am I confessing? Mm -hmm. I'm confessing the word of God, yeah. and he has to be obedient. Yes. Just submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he's got to go. Yes, Amen. Yes. Oh, the smoke is going away, so drive them away. Mm -hmm. As wax melted before the fire, mm -hmm. so let the wicked perish yes. at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. glad. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes. <laughs> let the righteous be glad and let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly yes, rejoice. rejoice. Amen. Amen. So I've said it before and I've said it, say it again. Christians, believers, should be the happiest people in the world. Yes, Why? Because we know the truth. Mm -hmm. And we win. Amen. <laughs> so see yourself that way. Mm -hmm. Amen. And... and, and, and uh, you're going to be blessed. It's just going to bless you more and more. Keep confessing faith-filled words, mm -hmm. positive words. Confessing the truth, uh, the word, confessing the word, because it's going to set you free. Go to the next one. Mm -hmm. This is the one. It's Jesus, who says? Jesus, Jesus says mm -hmm. to the people who believed in him, you are truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. Mm -hmm. That's us. He's telling us. Mm -hmm. It's not just about them. It's about us. We're still using the word of God. Mm -hmm. And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you mm -hmm. free. For, for free from all these mindsets, you know. Yes. Free from all these traditions. From all these problems you hear about. Mm -hmm. You know, just because so-and-so is confessing all these negative things. This is going to come upon you. No. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not, that's not for me. I'm not receiving it. I'm not going to receive all these negative things. And you know what? <laughs> if they can confess negative things in front of you, why can't you confess mm -hmm. the positive thing positive. and confess Jesus in front of yeah. them? He says, you know what? My God is greater than that. 
And my God has set me free from all that stuff, you know. So he can do the same for you. Woo, hallelujah, I was glad I was there. The New Living Translation, John 8, 31 and 32. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I've got a whole good nuggets here for you. <laughs> it says pray. All of us can pray. Mm -hmm. Don't have to go to pastor. Don't have to go to sister so-and-so, Miss uh, Almighty. <laughs> but you can pray. <laughs> just pray. Child of God, pray. Pray mm -hmm. is just talking to him. Have a relationship with your Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Just pray. Then let it go. Okay? He says, I'll, I'll, I'll forgive you and forget about it. And we're still holding on to it. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to forgive and Amen. forget about it. Yes. Amen? Let it go. All the trash we throw out, we let it go. We don't want to bring it back. Mm -hmm. With all that sin, junk, whatever, mm -hmm. let it go. But says pray and let it and let it go. Amen. Don't try to manipulate or force the outcome. Mm -hmm. Just trust God to open the yes. right doors at the right time. And Amen. Be patient. <laughs> His timing. <laughs> I pray. I leave it at Him with him mm -hmm. and he's going to open it at the right time amen mm -hmm. so i'm trusting i'm having faith, yeah. faith and trusting amen yes <laughs> hallelujah man i'm excited i'm about to we can say <laughs> amen we can go <laughs> let go and let god let all the things listen let all things circumstances in your life that are out of control mm -hmm. that keep us from fulfilling what god has called us Child of God, know that God, you have a calling in your life. Mm -hmm. we, we talked about this in Bible study. Mm -hmm. If nobody's ever told you, God has called you. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you're here? You're not here because the enemy wants you here. Yeah. Oh, We're here yeah. because God brought us here. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he sent us here. Now it's up to us to get in the word so that we can have the word and speak it out. And it's going to set us free from all this worldly mindsets. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Keeps us from fulfilling what God has for us. You cannot fight spiritual battle with physical strength. It's no match. They win. No. But if we use the word of God, mm -hmm. it's totally different. We're going to yes. talk about that in a few minutes. And in many Ephesians, it talks about who we fight. We don't fight flesh and blood. That's right. We fight spiritual beings in heavenly places. Okay, so we need to know this. Woo! Instead, trust and lean on God's might. Mm -hmm. It's a type of surrender that involves God to do the work. Only He can do what He can do. Mm -hmm. But we have to pray and let yes. it go. And let Him, yeah. don't try to manipulate it, but let Him work it out. Amen. Yes. Yes. <laughs> let go and let God. Yes. Says, there we go. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Says, what? Lord, empty me of me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that I can be filled with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've said it like this before. So, you know, we have to take ourselves off the throne and put yeah. God on the throne. <laughs> and that's called priorities. You know, all of us that work know there's priorities every day. Mm -hmm. Things to do. What is your yeah. priority? Priority number one should always be, as a child of God, should be Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Don't skip. Don't skip. Don't skip. But Jesus first, and then whatever, you know, your spouse or whatever, and then your, your job. That's the way it should be. Amen? Mm -hmm. But, Lord, empty me of me, you know, because I'm full of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> empty me of me and fill me with you. Amen? Man, we should write this down and post it somewhere where we can see it all the time. Yeah. Amen? Especially when we want to have our own way. No, I don't want to go. I don't want to do. I, I say, Lord says, you can do all things through me. Amen. Keep going, Carmen. So empty ourselves so we can be filled with all of him. Listen to this. <clears throat> Magnify God and not your circumstances. Magnify God and not your problems, your cares, your worries, your anxieties, your troubles, your enemies. We are champions. We are champions at doing this backwards. We're always magnifying problems, man. We see some people gathered together and they're talking about all the negative things going on in the world. And guess what? We go join them and say, man, did you hear about this one? And you've got a few you want to add on to. We're magnifying the wrong things. You know, we need to magnify Him. Amen. Magnify Him. Amen. And uh, 
maybe this year we can put a reverse on this and turn it around and say, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to get involved in those little talks anymore. You know, if I do and God tells me, I'll just join the group and say, you know what? God told me this. Or mm -hmm. just be positive, you know, yes. about the situation and what God wants to do through you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you have a call and God's going to use you and speak through you. Yes. The Bible says we're new creatures in Christ. Yes. And we're called to be ministers of reconciliation, bringing people to Christ. We're his ambassadors. What's an ambassador? Mm -hmm. We're his mouthpiece here on earth. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen yourself this way? Have you? It's time that you do. Because who's going to speak for him? Yeah. We are his church. We are his body of Christ here yes. on earth. Yes. Who is he going to use? He's going to use us. And he's going to use you. That's how valuable and how important you are. If you've never seen yourself that way, it's time that you do. Mm -hmm. He has a call on you, and he's anointed you, and he's equipped you. And the Bible says that you can do all, all things, things through Christ who yeah. strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. How many times do you think Jesus went? Jesus knew, I'm going to the cross. I'm going to be crucified. How many times do you think he went and talked to the Father and says, Lord, I need your strength this day? Mm -hmm. What about us? He said our, He said the example, what about us? Lord, I need your strength every day. Be with me. Thank you, Lord. When you feel down, <laughs> go to him. He'll lift you up. Amen. Don't go to anything else, you know. If you want to get high, <laughs> get high on the most, most high. high. <laughs> Amen. So, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> we talked about this. We're called to be warrior warriors for God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Warriors, not yeah. warriors. <laughs> Put this down somewhere. Write this down somewhere. So Jesus mm -hmm. is my God. Jesus is my King. Jesus is my Lord, my Savior, my healer, my refuge. He's my provider. He's my strength. He's my defender. He's my protector, my peace, my joy, my life, my all. <coughs> and he's my everything. Amen. Man, you can't go wrong this way. You know, we try to find substitutes. We find we try to find other things. Mm -hmm. This is what the Bible says. This is this is this is Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's my everything. Amen. Mm -hmm. Man, it blesses yeah. me. <laughs> I, I I told you this. Pray and don't worry. But if you're going to worry, why mm -hmm. pray? That's it. You're gonna leave it. Let go and let God. Mm -hmm. and don't try to manipulate. Yeah. But if you're going to pray, don't worry about it. Yes, yes. Lord, it's in your hands. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm trusting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think about Daniel prayed before he, he was thrown in a lion's den? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the lions are, they man, were they were hungry. <laughs> all of a sudden, they're not hungry anymore. <laughs> Daniel prayed. Mm -hmm. And you know, when the king went to go check on, on Daniel, he knew he was going to find bones. <laughs> But he saw the man mm -hmm. of God. Amen. He saw the man of God. The three Hebrew children. They threw him in the fire. Mm -hmm. Filled it up seven times hotter. Mm -hmm. Still. They saw and they said, you know, we threw three in there, but there's four in there. <laughs> what about your situation? You know, mm -hmm. he's with you. He says he never leaves you. No, for self. No, he's yes. always with you. Mm -hmm. He doesn't leave. Amen. You've confessed him as the Lord and Savior. And he's with you. Throughout your walk. Mm -hmm. As long as you're here, he's with you. Yes. Amen. We need to know this so that we don't exclude ourselves. We want to include ourselves. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Why are you letting me what are you letting arise in your life this new year? Or daily? Mm -hmm. What are you focusing your actions on? Mm -hmm. Your words, your energy. Here's your energy, your drive, you get up and go, you liveliness, your oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you put focusing on? Or your thoughts. You might say, it's so hard right now. I've lost my job. I've lost my money. I've lost loved ones. I've lost all kinds of things. And you can, you know what? You can dwell in the negative. My health is bad. Nobody, uh, somebody did me wrong. Somebody walked out on me. You know, you can just go on and on and on. But you're confessing the negative things and you magnify the negative things. You're not magnifying the positive things. You usually hear this, it says, you're magnifying and focusing on the wrong things. You're yeah. letting defeat, discouragement, and self-pity rise up. Mm -hmm. 
Don't give it points. Mm -hmm. Confess it to him it. and let him work it out. Amen. Yeah. Turn that around and magnify God. Keep your priorities in order. Why? Because God is still in control. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody may be walking out on you and you may be hurting right now, but God wants to restore you. God yes. wants to provide for you. Mm -hmm. Things we confessed a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Amen. All those things about Jesus. Here's another one. It says, Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust in him also, mm -hmm. and he will bring it to pass. That's it. Amen. All these things. Just I'm trusting you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I used to trust something else. <laughs> I can't trust on that booze or that drug anymore. I'm trusting on the most high. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I may have lost my job, <laughs> my money, loved ones, but don't worry. God is going to provide. God is supplying all of my needs. Yes. And let him fight your battles. Go yes. to the next one. Thank you, Lord. Great stuff. He wants to fight your battles. And you know what? He's never lost a battle. Yes, <laughs> but you got to release it to him. You can't hold on to it. You got to release it and let it be there. Amen. Okay, we're going to be talking about those in a minute. Let God arise. And we talked about it in a few minutes. Uh, go back. Honey. Go back. I'll tell you where. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. One more. One more. Right there. <laughs> Let God arise. Let is an action word. Yes. Let gives God permission mm -hmm. for you to let go totally, mm -hmm. completely, and let God have his way. Yes. Allow God to speak out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Allow God to have his way. Yes. Allow him to participate in solving your case, in solving your problem. So let is an action word. Let is also a power word. It involves your will. It involves your spirit, your determination, your drive, your motivation, your resolve, your backbone, and your willpower. Mm -hmm. That's what led is an action word. It's a power word. It also involves your choice and your decision. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let God have his way with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's my God. Yeah. And I'm going to be obedient to what he has for me. Amen. Yeah. And what he has for you. <laughs> like he says, he has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. That's it. He just wants to, you to be victorious each and every day. Not just once yeah. in a while, but each and every day. Yes. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Hey, your enemies, what's your enemies? Mm. Your problems, your troubles. You know, yours might be different than mine. Mm. But still, let God arise and let those enemies, those things, be scattered. Amen. Be gone. Mm. Ooh, they have to flee. They have yeah. to scatter. James 4, 7, we talked about this. But it says, submit yourself to God, therefore resist the devil. Mm -hmm. It says, you resist the devil. It didn't say for somebody else. It didn't say for pastor right. or sister or brother. So and so it says, you resist the devil. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the word, you have the word of God. And you're going to use the word. And that word is authority. So you resist him. You know, if you don't resist him, he's just going to keep pressing. That's it. He's going to keep pressing and pressing and pressing. It says the, 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 the enemy comes as a roaring lion yeah. seeking who he may devour. But you're going to have to put a stop to it. That's it. You're going to resist him yeah. and stop it. You know, and say, wait a minute. It stops right here. Mm -hmm. James 4, 7, the easy to read verse says, give yourself to God. Stand against the devil and he will run away mm -hmm. from you. That's it. Flee means Run. run as He's not just going, well, I don't feel like it. It ain't not about if he don't feel like it. He has to go. Mm -hmm. He has to go. And flee means run away, escape, take off. Mm -hmm. And he's got to go. We must stand our ground and use our authority. Know yes. that you have authority. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just helpless. That's it. You know, the world feels helpless. And all they do is confess the negative. Mm -hmm. Because they don't know the truth. They don't know the, about God. Amen. They don't know about Jesus. So we know Jesus and we need to confess what the word of God says. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says this, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. So don't let your authority or your power go wasted. Uh, uh, go to waste. Yes. Use it. You have to use it. If you get the word in you, let it out. The Bible says, Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. 
So let that word be lively. That word, that word be positive and not negative. Amen. Don't be weak. A defeated Christian. You know, a defeated Christian is somebody that knows the word, knows about God, and has a word in them, and won't speak it out. That's a defeated Christian. Because you let the enemy have his way. Don't do that. Don't be a defeated Christian. You can have the greater one and all your powers needed in you. So don't live a defeated, wimpy, comfy life. That's it. You know, God says, he says, I'd rather you be hot or cold. That's it. But not lukewarm. not lukewarm. That's what lukewarm is all about. Say, well, you know, I know what the world's doing. I know what God wants me to do. But I'm just going to try to please the world. No. You can't be have God and the world at the same time. You can't hold hands with both. <laughs> you can't dance with either one of them. Okay? you got to select. Make your choice now. Yes. God or the world, you know. And I'm going to choose God. Mm -hmm. That's the wise choice, you know. He says... Choose me. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can have it much better if you choose him. Mm -hmm. So don't live a defeated, wimpy, a comfy life. Be a participator and not a spectator. You know, spectators, all they do is judge and, and see the flesh. They don't see the positive. You know, you see somebody down and out, all you see is the negative instead of saying, have, saying something kind or, or give them a hand or something. When you start walking in the Word, you start walking in His love and His compassion. And you start seeing people and what they need because you're looking at them through His eyes, yes. His love and His compassion and not just worldly ways. Because if you see worldly ways, nobody's ever good enough. And start judging people that way. Amen. So, whew, hallelujah. Yeah. Mm. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 says, let your kind of be, with, be without uh, covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, he says, I will never leave you That's nor it. forsake you. Amen. If you start feeling lonely, mm -hmm. maybe it's because you haven't spent time with him. Mm -hmm. You need to spend time with him and refresh yourself and energize yourself, you know, and let him just bless you. Because he's, if you start feeling lonely, meaning you're starting to walk away. And you can do that if you're not renewing your mind with the Word of God. That's true. The Bible says, renew your mind with the Word yes. of God. If you get too much of the world in you, you're just going to start walking away from it. It's time you, you come back. Renew your mind and get all that junk. And give yourself yes. a spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your spiritual mind a bath, you know, with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And get things right. And yeah. get back on course, you know. I say, wow, you know, I was taking, I was... All these distractions, all these side roads, you know, I need to get back on the right road. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says uh, in John 14, 6, he says, I am the only way, mm -hmm. the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to the Father except through me. Through me. That's what Jesus yeah. says. And then, so that's no, we got to get on that right road mm -hmm. with Jesus. Amen. Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And verse 6 says, So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, I will not fear. What can man do to me? When you have the greater one in you and yeah. you're focused on him, what yeah. can man do to me? Yeah. Amen. All yeah. the disciples, they set examples, you know, and they weren't perfect. Neither are we. But still, we serve him and we yeah. choose to serve him. Amen. Yeah. And we're pressing on with him. Hallelujah. So let go and let God arise. Mm -hmm. Surrender, all, uh, uh, surrender, cast all, give him total control. Don't just reserve and say, well, I'm only going to give you this much. You know, trust you with this much or half. No. Give it all. Give it all. You know, when Jesus went to the cross, he gave it all. He gave himself yeah. all back. Yes, he did. But before he, before he released himself to the Father, gave himself back to the Father, he says, Father, forgive him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, Father, forgive him. And if you think you got to go through all kind of religious hoops and things to be saved. No. <laughs> <laughs> The robbers, there was two robbers next to him on side and side each side. One was still mocking him. The other one says, You know, you're Jesus and I receive you. That's me talking, okay? But he says, He says, Today you'll be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. He says, He got born again right there yeah. at the cross. And he didn't have to go through all these other That's things. It. It. Somebody say you have to do. Mm -hmm. He just accepted Christ right there. Mm -hmm. And Jesus received him. So, you know, some of you have been running from him 
It's time. All you need to do is do a turnaround, do an about face and say, Lord, here I am. I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. And you know what? He's going to receive you. Yes, he will. And you start living for him. And he wants to use you. He's got a mission for you. He's got a call for you. It's time you stop, stop running away from it and accept what he's got for you. And it's, it's, he's, it's all blessed. Amen. Praise God. Yes. So let's uh, read this and then we can stop here. Amen. Let God arise. Let his en his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. It says, let, the song says, let God arise and his, let his enemies be scattered. Enemies, uh -huh. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Let God, let God, let God oh. arise. Mm -hmm. I mean, we need to write this somewhere mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Yes. We must let him arise and not doubt. It's a great song. So, yes. So, so we, we don't even sing in church anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's a good marching song for us. Let God arise and His enemies be scattered. <laughs> well, we do, but a lot of churches don't. <laughs> Should be a church marching song as churches, Amen. the body of Christ goes against the powers of darkness. Amen. Yes. Now you can put it up, Carmen. Amen. Ephesians yes. six twelve. Yes, Ephesians. Go to the next one. There we go. Ephesians 6, 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. says, for we wrestle not against what? Flesh and blood. But who do we try to fight all the time? Mm -hmm. We try to fight flesh and blood. We try to fight one another. <laughs> Families, uh, you know, anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us are real good at fighting anything. <laughs> 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 For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Okay, this is what the Word of God says. Not what I said. I'm just repeating what the Word of God says. We don't fight flesh and blood. You know, it's time that you know this so you can quit fighting everybody. Yeah. It says, but against principalities, okay? We're talking about ranks of the evil ones. Yes. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, mm -hmm. against spiritual wickedness in high, high places. places. Wherefore, uh -huh. take unto you the whole arm of God. God. Amen. He gives us armor. We've studied. We'll, we'll talk about that later. But we put on the armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Uh -huh. And having done all to stand. Yes. Stand. stand. Amen. We're going to stand. I have the armor of God. If you haven't seen it, I've got a little <laughs> thing right here. The armor of God. Amen. And we'll, we'll study it later. But there's protection all in the front mm -hmm. nothing in the back that's it <laughs> so we don't have to cower and, and run away that's it yeah. resist the enemy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fight the enemy and you're going to press on remember david ran to goliath that's it. and didn't walk over there uh -huh. and he wasn't coward enough to run away uh -huh. he said he ran to goliath mm -hmm. amen and he, he knew he said I knew, he knew who was backing him I know who's back to me. Mm -hmm. And you need to know who's back to you. That's God it. is for you and not against you. That's it. So we'll talk about the armor of God later on. But he says, put on the whole armor mm -hmm. of God. That's it. Whole armor of God. And all of us have the armor, but we got to keep it on. Let the gates of hell be stormed. Let the devil's strongholds fall, mm -hmm. tumble, collapse. Let God, people, the body of Christ win mm -hmm. spiritual battles. Have yeah. victories in Jesus on a daily basis, yes. not just once in a while. That's Great right. number of souls added to the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. You go into this world. You go where I can't go, and I go where you can go. But we all go our somewhere. different ways. Mm -hmm. We all go somewhere mm -hmm. and be victorious for God and share in God's good good word. Good, good message, amen. Sharing the good news of the gospel. That's what gospel is all about, good news. Good news. All you hear out there is bad news. Mm -hmm. We bring the good news. <laughs> Praise God, amen. So I'm going to close with this. In Psalms 100 and verse 4, it says this in the New King James. It says, Into his gates with thanksgiving yes. and into his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. Church, we must get us out of the way mm -hmm. and we're going to start going for his way yeah. we start going his way not our ways you know if we get ourselves in sometimes we want to have our little comfy way mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the flesh remember it's been a while since i said this but you're a tribe being mm -hmm. you have a spirit mm -hmm. you have a soul 
and you have a flesh, you have a body. Mm -hmm. Our spirit, man, we feed the word of God. Yes. Our soul, our mind, will, and emotions, we renew with the word of God. Mm -hmm. And our flesh, it just we just have to crucify it. <laughs> because the flesh wants to be number one. <laughs> the flesh wants an easy, mm -hmm. <laughs> comfy all the, time. all the time. But if we feed the spirit, man, and we renew our minds with the word of God, the flesh is crucified and has to come along. Amen. So let's remember these things. Let God arise when we do. Things will come alive. Yes. And the church will begin to press on mm -hmm. and go forward for God. Yes. Amen. That means you. Amen. This is not the church right here. This is just the building. We assemble ourselves together. Mm -hmm. The church is you. The church, the body of Christ is you. You go and you press on for him wherever you happen to be. Amen. Did you get something? Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we want to close until you have the opportunity. Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you've never accepted Christ, now's the time. This is the beginning of the year. We're talking. We're still talking about a new year. You have an opportunity. All you need to do is say, Lord, I repent. I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And He won't reject you. He'll receive you. He'll accept you. Come into yes. Come and come and let him let him be your Lord and Savior. Yes. And you're gonna start going for him. He has a call for you. So it's time you answer that call Amen. and start going for him. Amen. Get into a Bible-based church where they mm -hmm. read and study from the Word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then you can go and, and press on for him. So praise God. Amen. If you have sickness in your body, you know, we weren't created to be to have any malfunctions in our body. The Bible says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. Yes. So we speak healing in your body. Yes. And body, line up with the word of God. Receive your healing right now. Lay your hands on me all the time. Say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Mm -hmm. Amen. You say it also. Instead of confessing all the negative things, oh, I feel this way, I feel that way. I say, thank you, Father, I am healed. Mm -hmm. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Yes. Amen. And magnify yeah. him and give him grace and glory. Amen. So praise yeah. God. Yeah. Woo! And uh praise God. And now it's a give you an opportunity to give. <laughs> yeah. Those of you watching or listening, um, just go to our website, nbcbigbin.com, and press that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now, cash, you can use Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bin. Yeah. God bless you. God loves you, and we love you. Amen. Praise God.